w h a t s u p It's your boy Wild Taker. Today we're gonna talk about how a siscon is made. Wait, what? Siscon for real, real dance? Siscon is people who fetishize sister cartoon anime when most of the time they don't even have a sister in real life. You sick motherfucker. That's your sister thumb. You sick weird boo otaku. Relax, guys. No blood-related sister is harmed or affected during the production of this episode. Oh, is there? Now let's begin today's episode of how a siscon is made. Now hit the intro fun. When we study the biology of organism and species, we learn that every living organism needs a beginning, a birth, the fertilization between egg and sperm cell fusing together, and the birth of a siscon is no different. One of the most well-known anime that gave birth to many siscon is drum roll. Ole no imoto ga kona ni kai wa ge janai. Shun fo ole imo. This is the holy grail for the Cisco. This is the MJ, Kobe, LeBron of basketball, the Tiger Wood of golf, the PewDiePie of YouTube. This is a bad, bad anime. Don't get me wrong; it has an awesome plot, sick character development, and awesome character design. Like Muli, A.K.A. Kuroneko, A.K.A. one of the best girl in this anime, A.K.A. Fushimi, I'm still not gonna forgive you for making Kuroneko cry, and I swear, boy, don't catch me out on the street, 'cause you're about to get some of these hands. Back to the main topic. This anime gave birth to the majority of Siscon. It has one of the highest probability to activate the Olemo gene and produce mutated offspring, aka the sickest, deepest Siscon, who supports the movement of Marin's sister and end up locking up in prison. So, if you feel like you are at risk of activating the Olemo gene, please call the National Immortal Hospital by calling the following number. Also, in fact, immortal, 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 and speak to Doctor Elo Manga Sensei. Every living organism goes through a growth stage where they develop their own physiology, psychology, and anatomy using nutrients and experience. Fun fact: 50 to 65 percent of human body are made of water. For an adult male, it's 60 percent, and adult female is 55 percent. We consume foods and use the following micronutrients like carbohydrates, fats, and protein to grow our body. And that's no different for siscon. They need more food to grow, so they start searching for their next favorite immortal in immortal anime. One of the most popular option is Elo Manga Sensei, A.K.A. the anime who won Trash of the Year in 2017. And another popular option is Emoto Sai in the Bar Line, A.K.A. a sister's all you need. Sino, what a filthy, straightforward title, do. But I like it. Siskon start to develop and learn what is right, what's legally wrong, and what's legally permitted. They also start to grow out of a well-known family known as the Immortal Odyssey Complex, that's proposed by the Professor Sigmund Immortal Freud. And he proposed the idea that male siskon selects immortal as the object of sexual investment. Then the siskon will realize. So you can't actually marry your own sister. The fuck, say, how the fuck did it take you six years to realize this simple fact? You sick motherfucker. I mean, sister fucker. In maturation phase, most species start reaching their adulthood and merging into the society. For a siscon, they start disguising themselves as normal human being in the society, while hiding their deepest immortal fetish. Because once you have activated your siscon gene, you can't switch the gene off. It's an incurable disease, and you can't come back. So you're gonna have to hide. Other siscon will continue consuming food, aka immortal anime, but they start developing taste and start arguing who is the greatest immortal of all time. A.K.A. the gold conversation, and the unquestionable public favorite number one is still Hino. 
since her retirement of 2013. But recently, the gold conversation has sparked up again due to the arrival of superstar Aromanga Sensei. She has won multiple MVP of Immortal, and she has also won the Immortal of the Year last year. But only time can tell whether or not Aromanga Sensei will defeat Kino and become the GOAT of our generation. Moving on, another common behaviour for Siscon is watching seasonal immortal anime, but they start having actual taste and start judging which immortal anime is good and which is trash. For example, recently the anime for Olega Suki no wa Immortal Dake to Immortal Genai was labelled as a trash anime by the otaku community due to bad animation, poor animal selection, no plot development, and clearly you can tell the animation company doesn't give a single penny damn about this anime. And they realize as long as you slapped a mortal tag onto something, it will sell. But the Siscon defends this anime and they said, quote, a wise man once said, no immortal is bad, and no immortal anime is bad. And the biggest evidence for their point is the following clip. <laughs> Despite this anime is absolutely garbage, dead animation, broken ass face. Once the Siscon reach the point, their immortal power will be over 9000 and reach the perfect form where both of their physical and philosophical status have reached the optimum stage. And they start questioning what is right, what is legal, and they start using Google to search for the answer. Is it actually wrong to marry your sister? Damn it. Is it actually, actually wrong to marry your sister? Then, they come into the realization and the conclusion after many years of being a Siscon that as long as Immortal is not blood related, then it's fine. And that end up getting rusted and they got locked up in a prison. Comment below on who is your favorite Immortal character of all time. Like, comment and subscribe because that's going to help me out a lot as a content creator and help us grow together in this journey to become the best anime YouTuber we could be. And have a nice day. I'm out. Peace!